And so the path can be hard, it can be difficult, it can be confusing. And this is why we come together each week. This is why we learn to sit in meditation. You know, throughout the week, my, uh, my email inbox just gets filled up with all these questions, all these stories, all this pain and confusion. And so much of it, so much of it can be resolved if we know how to sit. If we know how to sit with difficulty, with pain, with confusion, with desire, with addiction, whatever it is. And there's this old Christian mantra, this too shall pass, this too. And as we learn to sit, you know, we'll notice different fires arising in our consciousness, different storms and dramas coming forward in our life. But if we develop this skill of having a strong back and open heart and know how to sit with difficulty, outlast, outlast the pain, the confusion, the sadness, the heartache, the drama, the name calling, you know, we've all been called names before, I'm sure. When we learn to sit, we realize that we are the context, not the contents of our mind. With the space, the space, not the phenomena. If you ever notice, if you live long enough, you always notice there's a silent witness eternally present, that just watches your life, watches your life, watches all the aches, the pains, the confusion, the bliss, the freedom, coming and going, that there's a quiet space, quiet space, beyond it all, which includes it all, beyond it all and includes it all. And so, if you haven't already, you know, please just gently shut your eyes. And take some deep breaths. Let's begin just by gently, inwardly smiling. And not starting off <laughs> too serious. You know, the space of awareness is lighthearted. Lighthearted. Not too serious, not too tight, not too loose. So yes, we'll begin by taking some deep, full belly breaths, just breathing in, breathing out. Giving yourself permission to unhook, unhook from the contents of the mind, the busyness of the mind. And just noticing this space here, space beyond thought, the space which is in which the feeling of the body arises. So I invite you all just to notice the body, aches, the pains, the tensions, sensations, just to do yourself a big, big favor, just to take some deep, full belly breaths. Relaxing the muscles of the face, the jaw, the shoulders, the neck. Especially the back of the neck. So many people hold tension in the back of the neck. Or at the base of the skull. 
and just breathing in and breathing out. Your job is to melt, to relax. And if you have a mind that's busy, you'll see if you can pull awareness toward the back of the skull. Just imagine this warm liquid just melting the spine, gently relaxing all the muscles behind the heart. Again, just breathing in, breathing out. Relaxing the face, the jaw, back of the skull, the shoulders. The major muscle group behind the heart, the shoulders, the traps, just relaxing it all. We carry so much pain, trauma, sadness on our shoulders, behind our heart. Just relax all that. Just breathing in, breathing out. Relaxing the muscles on the front of the heart, the chest. Just allowing the breath to be unusually full. As you're breathing in, the belly's expanding, rib cage is expanding. The lungs are filled to their capacity. And with each exhale, just letting go more and more deeply and fully. Allowing, inviting the muscles of the belly to deeply relax. And just breathing in, breathing out. Just giving yourself full permission to breathe, to feel, to experience. Just deep, full breaths, relaxing the lower belly, pelvis, the arms, the hands, the hamstrings, quads, all the little muscles in the feet. Just noticing that there's something here that is awake, aware. Just noticing the 
body becoming more and more deeply relaxed. More and more at peace. At ease. And from this space of relaxation, just noticing this presence. Just through in and through out. vast, spacious presence. So awareness was aware of the body, aware of the thoughts, different feelings and sensations. The body became relaxed. And so now let awareness become aware of itself. What's here? That is awake, that is present. What's here that is innocent in all directions? For some of you, you may notice it's very simple, very gentle, very subtle presence. Just take some deep breaths into this. Smile at your beauty your divinity. Smile. At that which has outlived every pain, every trauma, every confusion. Just breathing in, breathing out, smiling as Buddha nature wakes up in you as you.
Just breathing in, breathing out. How wonderful it is. Just to put down all the human contents, mind, thought, desire, confusion, the story, the character. And to give yourself this grand gift. being the Buddha. Being this vast silence. Allowing the witness to witness itself. To be yourself. And just breathing in and breathing out. Noticing this wonderful light. Shining throughout all the chakra centers. And for many of you, I'm going to just gently invite you to relax your solar plexus a little bit more. The belly a little bit more fully and deeply. I just notice this wonderful light. Waking up in the belly. The vast, spacious mind. 
innocent, gentle, radiant heart space. wonderful light shining out from the solar plexus quiet strength in the belly Profound emptiness and light. Through in and through out. Gently breathing in, breathing out. Giving yourself full permission to feel, to experience what is awake, what is divine. What is free? What's here that is awake, that is aware, that is already free, that is beyond thought, beyond emotion, beyond the story, the character of your life. What's here?
Can you give yourself the permission? It's not to touch any of the arising phenomena, confusion, thoughts. And be so simple as to be a Buddha right here, right now. Buddha smiling, Buddha nature. Buddha smiling, Buddha nature. If any of you are struggling, thought, emotion, you put it down, put it all down. Give yourself the gift. Being the Buddha. Living in the space that witnesses all. experiences all. Smiling Buddha. Buddha nature.
supreme peace. Vast emptiness. Unbounded freedom. Just noticing this wonderful light radiating throughout the spine, the central channel. Relaxing, relaxing, relaxing into Buddha nature, softening, melting the body, the neck, the spine, the thoughts, the emotions, the story, the character, all melting. into Buddha nature. Can you melt and be free? Melt and be at peace. doing wonderfully. Very simple to be a Buddha. We breathe, we feel, we 
experience. We radiate. Falling in love with your own divinity, your goodness, Buddha nature, melting into itself. All the while, with each breath, the body becoming more and more relaxed, nurtured by the peace, nurtured by your own presence. Breathing in, breathing out. Buddha nature. Every breath, being a Buddha. Every breath, becoming a Buddha.
fully inclusive at every aspect of self, head, heart, gut. Even the human aspects of self are welcome in this space of light, this space of love, supreme peace that you are. With each breath, old karma being liberated. Egoic tendencies unraveling, old pain being met with a total love, total peace, Buddha nature radiating in all directions. Buddha nature, in you and as you, shining in all directions, Buddha nature. Vast, spacious, free. Buddha nature. Rainbow light shining from the heart. Buddha nature. Profound strength. Depth of being. Buddha nature.
Collectively, I invite you all to take deep, full breaths in the belly, deep in the heart. It's releasing, letting go a little bit more fully. Buddha nature. Profound emptiness. The spacious freedom. Buddha nature. Gently smiling at your goodness, your divinity. Buddha nature. Silent mind, radiant being, Buddha nature. Shining out in all directions. Blessing your friends, your family. Buddha nature. Shining out to your community. Buddha nature. Blessing the mountains, the streams, the forests, the oceans, the skies, the deserts, the entirety of the planet. Being blessed. Buddha nature. Pervades all things. You are a blessing. Profound blessing to the planet. Living Buddhas. Shining your light in all directions. You are a blessing. Truly a blessing.